Now this is an audio quality comparison test with all the microphones that you heard in this video. Now this is the Rode Studio microphone, it's an XLR microphone and it's now plugged directly into the Sony A7 III. We have two shotgun microphones, both from Rode, uh, on top here, which we will uh, do a comparison and testing with later on in this video. We have the uh, Wireless Go, which is here, and we also have this Studio XLR microphone. Now, this, what I'm talking about is this here. This is the Ceremonic Smart Rig Plus. They also have one which is Ceremonic Smart Rig, which only has one XLR input here. But this one has two, and it has phantom power, and you it has a uh, game control here on both of the XLRs. And you can also use this with your smartphone, uh, your iPhone, your iPad, and with your camera. So that means I can plug this... Uh, jack into the camera here, into the microphone up of the camera, and then I can just uh, swap this over here. Let's take a look at this first. Now, uh, here you can see that we have a camera. On the other side here, we have something which is uh, indicating an, uh, an iPhone or a tablet or anything like that. So by swapping this over to camera, that means I can now use my studio microphone with my camera, which is insane. This is something that I've been looking for for so long. Now, you can also choose the, there is an on and off and phantom power button here. Now, if you're gonna use an XLR microphone with um, with this setup right here, and with the uh, mirrorless or, or the XLR camera, you will need to choose phantom power. Now, here we have the red light uh, on, and we also have the green. By choosing phantom power, you can easily use this. And uh, if you're not using phantom power, you cannot use this. This is from my own experience. So you might have to, there might be some other ways around it, but uh, basically you can use this for voiceovers. Now you can connect this uh, into your iPad and use it with LumaFusion. That means for all, let's say for instance, the voiceovers that I have done in the past, what I've done is to edit on LumaFusion. So I have a one finished file and I place that on either my uh, Mac or my computer. So I have still have this one file. So I don't have all the different audio la uh, layers. And um, I simply done the voiceover and then ex uh, rendered and, uh, and exported and uploaded the video. And uh, that's kind of a, a two-way method of, of doing it, but now I don't need to do that. I can plug this into the um, into the iPad and just swap this over to the tablet or iPhone icon, and I can start using this XLR microphone for my voiceovers in LumaFusion. And the good thing is it's only around 150 bucks for this and it runs off of a, a nine volt battery. It looks like this and this and this and this. So that means you you can take this with you anywhere you go. That means you can just, uh, like I've done here, I have a, a hot shoe and cold shoe here on the camera rig and I just simply screw this. You have, a, let's see here. Oh, you have a thread under here so you can uh, just mount this on your camera and then you can have your XLR microphone 
anywhere you go. So let's say you're going to use, um, if you want to use a Rode MTG5, for example, you can mount that on your camera. You can have a shorter XLR cable and uh, you can use this as well. That means you will have insanely good audio anywhere you go. Anywhere, anytime you are recording video camera, you will have insane audio. Now I've been talking with this Rode Wireless Go for quite some time now. Let's move over to the Rode Video uh, Mic Pro Plus and the Rode NTG Shotgun Microphones, which is a bow here so we can do a comparison. And we will also include this uh, Rode uh, studio microphone so you can hear the difference when it comes to the sound here. Now keep in mind the closer you have the studio microphone or an XLR microphone to your mouth, the better the audio quality is going to be. Now that means you can control the uh, audio here with the knobs on the Smart Rig uh, Plus as well. But now let's move over to the uh, Rode VideoMic Pro Plus and the Rode NTG Shotgun microphone. So now we have the Rode NTG shotgun microphone plugged into the Sony a7 III here. Now this is only connected directly into the camera, so we don't have to use the Saramonic Smart Rig. So this is an audio quality comparison test with all the microphones that you've heard in this video. We're now using the Rode NTG shotgun mic. How does it sound? Check one, two, three, check one, two, three. Now this is an audio quality comparison test with all the microphones that you've heard in this video. And we're now plugged in the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. How does it sound? Check one, two, three, check one, two, three. Now this is a sound quality comparison test with all the microphones that you've heard in this video. Now this is the Rode Wireless Go. Check one, two, three, check one, two, three. Now this is an audio quality comparison test with all the microphones that you heard in this video. Now this is the Rode Studio microphone, it's an XLR microphone and it's now plugged directly into the Sony a7 III. How does this sound? Check 1, 2, 3, check 1, 2, 3. So this is an audio quality comparison test with all the microphones that you've heard in this video. We're now using the Rode NTG shotgun mic. How does it sound? Check 1, 2, 3, check 1, 2, 3. Now this is an audio quality comparison test with all the microphones that we've heard in this video. And we're now plugged in the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. How does it sound? Check one, two, three, check one, two, three. Now this is a sound quality comparison test with all the microphones that you've heard in this video. Now this is the Rode Wireless Go. Check one, two, three, check one, two, three. Now this is the Rode Studio microphone, it's an XLR microphone and it's now plugged directly into the Sony a7 III. How does this sound? Check 1, 2, 3, check 1, 2, 3. So there we have all the different microphones and which one sounds the best. I mean the Studio microphone which I'm recording with right now and if you have a monitor or if you can have a flip out screen so you can see the audio levels on your uh, uh, camera, that means I can now talk and or decrease the gain here depending on the audio levels that I want to achieve. And this is extremely convenient when it comes to every th single thing that has to do with audio and cameras, if you ask me, but I'm not really the audio type of guy, as you know, that's why I really wanted to share this with you. My experience with the uh, Sorry, my experience with the Ceremonic Smart Rig Plus and how convenient this is to use. And I've been using this for so many times now and I have the uh, studio microphone right here. So if I jump it a little bit down here, you can see it in the frame, but you want to have it as close to your voice as possible. So the best thing for me would actually to have this setting something like this, but I don't want this to be in the frame because you know, it's a little bit, it's a little bit big. So I'm going to pull this out of frame here, just like that. And if I now had, for example, let's say a Rode NTG uh, five, which I am looking to get maybe number three, depending on like which one is, uh, is uh, the cheaper one, the better one, and, and so on, then I could easily adjust this a little bit better because of the uh, boom microphone, the NTG 3 or 5, is a little bit smaller and it's, uh, it's a little bit longer and it's a little bit more directed towards where it's going, you know? Uh, so that's basically 
uh, what I am looking to get in the future as well. Now, I really hope that you enjoyed the audio of this uh, this um, studio microphone here. Uh, let's see if we can get the gain a little bit up here. That was the wrong way. So here we have it peaking just tiny bit on the... I don't, you don't want it to peak towards the red because you're going to have some broken audio in in your edit levels or how you yeah you know so this is basically the setup that i've been been using when i make these uh, videos now for the co past couple of, of months uh, so i'll leave a link to the ceremonic smart rig down in the uh, description below if you want to check it out and like i said you can connect this to your ipad if you want to do voiceovers uh, in Luma Fusion, you can also do that on your iPhone as well. Or if you just want to, I don't know, if you just want to talk, say something to yourself, say something to the, the iPad, just want to test it out. Or if you're going to set it up like a studio like this. Keep in mind, audio quality is uh, as important as making good videos. So, and lighting, it, all of this. So good audio, good lighting. Um, and, and and like a, a good camera, which is, is doing the job. I'm not saying you need to, the most expensive camera and you have seen what we can do with the GoPro Hero 9, GoPro Hero 8 and the DJI Osmo Action when it comes to setting just an action camera up as a studio recorder device. I'll leave those down in the um, description below if you wanna check out that as well. And yes, 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 you can also connect this to uh, an action camera, this you can have this studio microphone uh, connected to an action camera. But the one thing you need is uh, the one thing you need is uh, for the GoPro you would need a media mod because you have this jack back here which you can connect the uh, Saramonic um, adapter to, and then just connect it like this so you have the studio microphone or any type of XLR microphone. The same goes with the Osmo Action. You need the adapter and you can do the exact same thing. So for 150 bucks, guys, it's insane. This is, it's like, it's like Christmas, early Christmas. And this is something that I've been looking for, for, like I said, a year. And this is by far the best thing that I've purchased since I started making these videos because oh it's so easy I can plug it in and I have good qual 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 good good audio quality right from the camera I don't need to turn on any other devices I can simply plug it in like this and it's mm, and I'm so excited so I'm, I'm gonna leave it there and uh, let you decide which one was uh, the best and which audio uh, device or audio microphone that you would prefer. Would you prefer something like the Rode Wireless Go, which you can easily clip on anywhere and you can hold it like a microphone and, and so on. Uh, well, hold it like a microphone. You can hold it in your hand. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> uh, which one do you think is... Um, is sounding the best is it the studio mic or is it the other any any one of the other microphones and keep in mind with i just want to say this before we end this video because this is really really important now with the road wireless go you can control the gain um very easily because it has three settings so if you have something like a monitor where you can see your levels you can easily adjust that on the wireless go when it comes to the um, the studio microphone which is here now you can also do the exact same thing you can control everything on the ceremonic uh, adapter here and you can easily adjust if you want it to peak or not and and so you have perfect audio levels you know and the same goes with the Rode NTG shotgun microphone at the the back end of the microphone you have the knob it's a wheel where you can then select uh, how much uh, uh, audio gain and and so on that you want in your microphone to get the perfect levels so you can control it with that when it comes to the Rode uh, VideoMic Pro Plus you don't have that you can do a high or low pass filter I guess mm yeah uh, anyway it's it's harder to control that but because now i have this road wireless go i have the studio microphone and i have the road ntg shotgun microphone the only thing i have to do is to put the levels on my camera 
to one. Like the audio level, the audio recording levels on the camera has to be one. Uh, to get the least amount of noise introduced into the microphone. Now I also have a fan here. This is a Godox uh, Studio Light, so it, the fan is is a little bit noisy, but uh, you can always remove that with some background music uh, as well. Now for the uh, Rode VideoMic Pro Plus, I will need to put the record audio level on my camera up to around plus seven or eight. Then I would have the perfect audio, but with all the different or the three different microphones here now, I can have this on one on the camera and I can adjust on the microphones themselves. So that means I don't have to do anything when I'm swapping between microphones, which is another boost in the workflow. You know, I want to have it as smooth and clean, as simple as possible with the best possible outcome. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that you learned something and uh, you probably knew this already. I, I don't know, but this is completely new to me and I just wanted to show you, you know, uh, why I think this is so good and why I recommend it. And it's extremely cheap. Like I said, link down in the description below. There are also affiliate links. So I will earn a tiny, tiny bit of of nothing basically, uh, but it's a way for you to support this channel as well. If you're looking to get any accessories for your studio, for your cameras, for whatever you are deciding to to uh, to get. So again, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and uh, I see you guys in the next video.